Hello everyone, welcome to the 18th tutorial on a beginner's guide on how to twin motion. In this video, we'll be talking about light setting. So, feel free to start off with any generic scene. For me, I just use a default one with random trees and objects added into it. All of this can be found here in the library. Make sure to have the scene and properties toggled on so that this window will be available for us to use. Now we select ambience and go to our time of day, which is this one. Currently, I have it in a 24 hour format, which is in 1900 hours. To change that, we'll go to edit, sorry, um, edit preference, settings, timestamp, and change it to 12 hours and press OK. And now we got it in 7.33 PM. So I'm going to just change it back to 24 hour format like so. Okay, so back to the time of day. Let's change it into something that could have a longer shadow, like so. Alright, that should be good enough. Now, feel free to play around with the de within the details of the global lighting for your preference. So, normally it should have it should be like this, but if you if you click it, it would collapse like so. You can increase the side intensity like so. I usually just have it in 10,000. Sorry. Feel free to type whatever unit you want or play around with the slider over here. Next, we'll be playing around with the sun location. So, back to your ambience here, scroll down until you find an edit that says location. So here, we can play around with the sun location along with its offset like so. And we can even change the location that we have currently within the globe or the month that you would prefer. For now, let's look for the darkest time of the day, which is going back to the global lighting by scrolling up. And the darkest time would around be somewhere here should be fine. Now, some objects from the library has their own lighting that comes with it. Just like this street light that we have right here. If you click the street lamp like so, you would see this icon right here, which is the lighting that it currently has. If you scroll down to our scene window here, and the name of that street light is actually summer. Usually, you'd have it like this, but if it's collapsed like so, this is the lighting library that it has. So if I were to delete it like so, we would lose the lighting but it still has its self-illuminating glass lens or object right here which i will get more into it in another video so for now we'll be focusing on lighting i'll do i'll undo this right now now the icon for lighting is usually hidden it would only pop out if i were to click it like so and see in here but if i were to click outside it would not show by pressing g would make it appear you can still click on it by guessing like so. There we go. I got it in one try. So anyway, we're going to start off with its parameters or properties. So scrolling down to spotlight and we've got everything right here. We'll first start off with attenuation, which is when I play around with a slider like so. I don't think you can notice anything, but if I were to make it smaller like this, you'd probably notice the difference. So the attenuation which is the area where the light spans with